Okay, so we have a 24 plus weeker getting ready to deliver. So let's go over the transition checklist for infants born less than 33 weeks. Uh, so we have a history. Uh, I'll give NICU and IMCN a call. Lindsay, do you want to turn on the radiant warmer and pre-warm the bed? Alita, do you want to check the airway supplies and CPAP? Okay. Sure. And Hello. I'll pre-warm the NICU transport. Hello. So we're just going through the transition checklist. We have a 24 plus weeker getting okay. ready to deliver. So Lindsay, you've you placed a hat at the bedside and the warming yeah. mattress. And the plastic wrap. Okay. okay. So I told, uh, or I called the neonatologist, so he should be here soon. And you said NICU knows. Yes. Okay. And I turned on the Massimo as well. Okay. Have airway supplies and suction been checked? Uh, yes, we have a two and a half and a double zero plate. Okay. And do we have cardio respiratory limb bands? Got it. So why don't now that we're all here, why don't we introduce ourselves and then we can talk about the plan for this baby. Um, I don't know the whole history, so uh, I'm Nicole, I'm the nurse practitioner today. I'm Monica, recess nurse two. And I'm Lindsay, recess nurse one. Alita, respiratory therapy. I'm Dr. Alvaro, the neonatologist. Okay, so we have a 39-year-old G4P0. She's had three spontaneous abortions. This is an IVF pregnancy at 24 and three out of seven weeks gestation. Serology is negative. Mom was feeling unwell today, so she came in with, and she came in with uterine tenderness and cramping. So she was admitted for observation. Antenatal ultrasound is normal. She's received one dose of steroids. She ruptured her membranes four hours ago with a fever, and there's fetal tachycardia. And I talked to mom. She wants everything to be done, including epinephrine and chest compressions. Okay, okay. okay. so get that ready. So as far as the plan then, so we'll do the usual. Um, once the baby's on the bed, we'll put them in the um, him, right? It's a boy. A boy. Um, we'll put him in the wrap. He's on the warming mattress. You'll put the CPAP on right away. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then we'll see how he does. And you have stuff set up for an emergency UVC then? Yeah, we'll get, yeah. get yeah, that. This could be a sick baby, so we need to okay. be ready. Okay. okay, yeah, and we have a two and a half endotracheal tube and a double zero bleed. Okay, sounds good. Okay, big with flat. Timer started. Okay, let's get him off the blanket yeah, and in the Baby's wrap. not breathing. There's some milk in of the core. I'm going to put okay. the CPAP in. It's plus 7. We're on 30%. Okay. Lindsay, do you want to get some monitors on? Still yeah, not really he's not breathing. breathing. Yeah, yeah right the back. It's pretty flat, yeah. Are you on 7 now? Deep? We'll get a pre uh, 7, yeah. 30%. Okay. Heart rate's 90. Heart rate's 90, yeah, he's still okay. not really breathing. Yeah, we're getting soft now, 64. 64. Are we one minute yet? 45 yeah. seconds of age. Okay. Timer's right here and it's accurate. Okay. He's still not breathing, huh? Yeah, he's not breathing. Okay. Should we start some PPV? Yeah, when are we, uh, when are we start okay, some I'll PPV, hold this yeah. if you want to get the bag. Okay, ready? Yeah, I got it. It's blowing up. Heart rate's heart rate's still ninety. Yeah, chest is not moving that well. No, he did have some secretions. Let's suction out his mouth. I'll take this off. Got a suction, Lindsay? Did you get anything? A little bit. A very small amount. Small amount of secretions. Yeah. Is the mouth slightly open now? Good. What kind of pressures are you giving? Saturate 67%. Now. Okay. Here we go. We'll reposition his head. On, uh, seven. Minute 45. Minute 45. Okay. Sats are acceptable for two minutes. The chest is, is moving with your bagging, I can see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And our sats are 67. You may have to go up on the uh, file too. A little bit. 40%. Okay, we're at 40%. Heart rate's still 90. Can you hear good air entry bilaterally? Yeah. He's, he's not breathing, eh? So we're no, at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Heart rate still around 90. Sats are 70. So we're at, are we at 100% Alita? Well. Mm. Nope, not yet. We're at uh, 80% right now. Yeah, two and a half minutes. So what are you going to do? I'm going to intubate? Can I give it um, a few more time? Oh yeah, I guess we should probably intubate. Did mom get any medications at all, or? Was there any medication? Dose of steroids. Okay, but no. nothing, no narcotics no. in the last few hours, or? No. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we should integrate. Heart rate is not going up. The SATs are barely in the 70s yeah, now, 100% on 100 no. oxygen. He's not breathing. Okay, and we're coming up to three minutes. So I think we should integrate. Okay, do you want to hold this and I'll sure. get the endotracheal tube? Yeah. Hello, so this is our NICU team, Dad. Um, and I see if you could just introduce yourself to Dad here. Hi, Dad. It's uh, I'm Dr. Srinivasan, which is quite a mouthful. Uh, you can call me Ganesh or Dr. G. And and we have the NICU team here. I'm Mohammad, a Nether fellow. Sebastian, I'm the RT. Holly, one of the nurses. I'm Jamie, and I'm also a nurse. Congratulations, and uh, you know we're looking forward to looking after your little one. So um, this little one, it's a little boy that was born um, two hours ago. He's 24, born at 24 weeks and three days. Birth weight is 550 grams. Uh, Apgars were three, six, and eight. Mom's a 39-year-old G4P0. Um, SA's times three, and this one was an IVF pregnancy. Uh, Mom was feeling unwell today, and she initially came in with some uterine tenderness and cramping. Um, she was admitted for uh, observation and then her membranes did rupture, so that was about four hours prior to delivery. And she did have uh, a bit of a temp as well, a little fever. Uh, she was just given one dose of steroids uh, this morning and there was some fetal tachycardia as well. Uh, her serologies uh, that we have are all negative, but the GBS is unknown. It was sent, but it is pending. The antenatal ultrasound was done at about 19 weeks and it was a normal uh, anatomy scan. So I'll let Monica give the, um, well, I should tell you, I guess when the baby was first born, um, he wasn't very vigorous. He did require a little bit of PPV. So the infant's appropriate. Temp is stable at 36.7. We didn't give any meds for sedation. BP is stable, perfusion's good, and there's a UVC and UAC in situ. Uh, and they're both in good position. Okay. So respiratory. Uh, so we're intubated with a 2.5 ET tube and it's six and a half at the lips. We are on ACVG. Our VG is 2.2, which is four mLs per kilo. Our rate is 45 and the baby's breathing just a few above. Our PEEP is seven and we're on 30% FiO2. So Ganesh, we, um, this baby is quite stable right now. Um, the x-rays show moderate HND before we give the bless. So uh, I'm expecting that Lyme disease is minimal right now, it's in 25% and it's very well saturated. I talked to mom and dad, they gave me consent for uh, blood products and also for donor breast milk. And, uh, and they, I, they know it's a very extreme premature baby, they want everything to be done. And um, mom hasn't seen the baby yet, so we're going to uh, take some time to show baby to mom before we go. Just from a respiratory perspective, we had a quick question. Like, you know, we had the jet ready because we were concerned when we looked at that x ray with modded RDS. Uh, you know, you had a question about whether you need it or. Yeah, I, I think right now he's quite stable, Ganesh, and he's only on 30%. Uh, I'm sure we can win a bit more, and the pressures are very low. So I, I don't think he's going to need uh, high frequency for now. He may actually be uh, extubated by, by tomorrow, I think, I hope. Um, and mom does plan to breastfeed and she has started pumping. So any other questions? Were you guys able to establish any peripheral IVs prior to getting There is the a central? peripheral IV peripheral infusing IV. as well. Okay. And you did mention the caffeine was in, right? Yeah. Yeah, we gave the load. No, 10 per kilo. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll go to see mom and then we should be there in about half an hour.